Keep a sharp eye out, lads. Someone's targeting our network. The distillery might be next. This will complicate things. You should not go about frightening respectable gentlemen, young man. I didn't realize snooping around was considered gentlemanly. Snooping? Sir, I assure you. Be vigilant. Quick, inside. That was too close a call. You, young man, gave me quite a fright. I thought you were one of them. But I realize now why you're here. Same reason I am, I imagine. I imagine? I believe I found something, young man. <laughs> Rather impressive contraption, wouldn't you say? I've seen bigger. Stramonium, or devil snare as it is commonly called, that goes into the syrup and opium, no less. Revolting, absolutely sickening. A favorable way to proceed, wouldn't you agree? Quickly! What about the other valves? Take a wild guess. Very well, young man. How much do they sell this place?
Smoke! Well done. Charles Darwin, delighted to make your acquaintance. Jacob Fry, the pleasure's all mine. <laughs> While you were busy wreaking havoc, I found this. It indicates that a sample of every batch has been sent to Lambeth Asylum. Oh, I wonder if it's visiting hours. Don't be so hasty, Mr. Fry. Many people work at Lambeth. You wouldn't want to attract unwanted attention. Mm. And what's the fun in that? Not every problem can be solved by blowing things sky high. Sometimes a little discretion is in order. It's getting late. I will meet you at the asylum to continue our investigation.
owning the railway wasn't enough. Now Starek has bought an omnibus company as well. I suppose he wants to control the neighborhood's workers and keep them under his thumb. Pearl Attaway is Starek's competitor, is she? Perhaps it's time I went into business. And Miss Fry, what are your plans? I studied the history we recovered from the Kenway Mansion's hidden room. I'm off to a certain monument. Miss Attaway. Yes, may I? Oh. Splendid. You're here to murder me. I what? No matter. Everyone has a prize. Is this enough? I'm not here to kill you. And what's your game? Mr. Starrick and the Milner Company have blocked your ambitions long enough. I have a business proposition for you. Wonderful. Come with me. We have much to discuss, Mr. Jacob Fry. At your service. Truer words were never spoken. If you'd be so kind as to take the reins. You must understand I've received threats against my life. Malcolm Miller has all but waged war on me since Mr. Starrick fought out his people. And no offense, I hope, but you do look the kid. I doubt I shall ever recover from such a slight. What then is your interest in my redemption, Mr. Fry? I sense an opportunity that will benefit us both. Do you? Is that so hard to believe? Whatever your intentions, it will be quite the time to strike back against Milner and Starrick. I have your words like a truth. That's one of Milner's. I can't lose another bus! a good horse. You are. Join me. Easy! Let's go. Easy does it. Malcolm Milner. Starek's puppet himself. Careful, you twats! This park scene needs to make it to the outway depot. He thinks he can burn my buses. 
Let's give him a taste of his own medicine. Let's give him the whole damn bottle. <laughs> we'll turn Milner's park scene against him. But I'll need help from my gang. Such entrepreneurial instinct, Mr. Fry. I shall leave you to it. treat one of Attaway's employees to tea and biscuits now, would he? The end result is that she's got fewer people on her. That's all I care about. My hand has a mind of its own. It's made. paying me to do this. You can see that smoke from across the... Santa bus is on fire. It never gets old. Serves that way right for thinking she has to... Oh, There's no way I'll miss him! And ready. Ah. Not looking so tough now, are ya? I'm your man if you need me. already. You're hired. Oh, I have more business planned for us both. Drop a note to my secretary to make an appointment, and I shall reveal the next step in our scheme. I don't actually work. Like that. Thank you. 